Imagine a stealth jet so advanced it didn't just push boundaries it erased them. Enter Japan's Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin, a next-level experimental aircraft that marked the nation's bold entry into the elite world of stealth aviation. Built not for combat but as a tech demonstrator, the X-2 was a full-throttle statement of capability, a homegrown marvel featuring radar-absorbing materials, stealth-optimized contours, cutting-edge avionics, and 3D thrust vectoring all developed almost entirely in Japan. Clocking speeds beyond Mach 2 and engineered to be elusive on radar, the X-2 wasn't built to fight, but to gather data for something much bigger, the foundation for Japan's sixth-generation FX, F-3, fighter. Agile, fast, and virtually invisible to enemy systems, the Shinshin proved Japan's aerospace industry was ready to play at the highest level. While global powers raced ahead in defense innovation, Japan quietly created a stealth revolution of its own one that could redefine the future of air dominance. What happens when Japan sets its sights on the next era of aerial dominance? You get the Mitsubishi FX a sixth-generation fighter jet designed to redefine what modern combat aircraft can do. This isn't a simple upgrade, it's a clean slate vision built for the battles of tomorrow. Engineered with advanced stealth features, AI-driven systems, and the ability to command drone swarms mid-flight, the FX is being sculpted into a fully networked battlefield brain with wings. Set to replace Japan's aging F-2 fleet, the FX is being developed in collaboration with the UK and Italy under the Global Combat Air Program GCAP. Designed to detect threats before they appear on radar and dynamically adapt using onboard artificial intelligence, the FX will boast long-range capabilities, heavy missile payloads, and serious tactical flexibility. With a tentative launch around 2035, development timelines remain tight, and Japan is keeping contingency plans open such as boosting its F-35 fleet. But if this next-gen jet delivers, the FX won't just keep up, it could set the new global standard for air superiority. Meet the Kawasaki C-2, a modern military transport aircraft that's rewriting the rules of heavy airlift. Designed from the ground up by Japan to meet the needs of 21st century operations, the C-2 isn't just big, it's brilliantly capable. With a payload capacity of over 36 tons and a range exceeding 8,000 kilometers, this twin-engine jet can carry everything from tanks and helicopters to troops and disaster relief supplies, all in one sleek, high-tech package. But don't let its size fool you, the C-2 flies like a dream. Its state-of-the-art aerodynamics and advanced fly-by-wire systems give it the agility of a much smaller plane, while its digital cockpit and robust avionics ensure smooth performance in everything from typhoons to tactical missions. Whether it's airdropping aid, supporting global deployments, or responding to emergencies, the C-2 is built to deliver fast, far, and with precision. Japan didn't just build a better transport jet, they raised the bar for what a modern airlifter can be. Who would have thought Honda, the name behind everyday road legends, would soar into the skies with one of the most cutting-edge light jets on the market? Enter the Honda Jet Elite 2, an aviation disruptor that blends futuristic design with real-world functionality. This isn't just a private jet, it's a bold statement. With its signature over-the-wing engine mounts, the Elite 2 delivers smoother rides, quieter cabins, and improved fuel efficiency, all while unlocking extra cabin space most jets can't match. Inside, it's first-class comfort on every level, luxurious leather seating, customizable lighting, and a layout that feels more like a sky lounge than a cockpit. But, don't let the sleek look fool you. This jet cruises at 43,000 feet, reaches speeds near 486 miles per hour, and offers a range of over 1,500 nautical miles. It's armed with advanced tech like Garmin G3000 avionics, auto throttle, and runway overrun protection, making it one of the safest, smartest light jets in the sky. The Honda Jet Elite 2 isn't just redefining personal aviation it's raising the bar for what the next generation of business and leisure travel looks like. Beta Technologies CX300 isn't chasing the flying car fantasy, 
it's building the future of regional air mobility with clean, smart, and scalable design. This all-electric fixed-wing aircraft is purpose-built for short-haul logistics and passenger routes, offering a projected range of up to 460 kilometers on a single charge. Unlike the swarm of vertical takeoff prototypes crowding the market, the CX-300 embraces simplicity, prioritizing energy efficiency, lower operating costs, and quicker path to certification. With side-by-side -side seating in a streamlined cabin and a modular battery system designed for ease of maintenance and upgrades, the CX-300 is engineered with operators in mind. Fast charging tech and quiet flight characteristics make it a strong fit for dense routes and eco-sensitive areas. Beta isn't stopping at the aircraft either, they're building out a full ecosystem with solar-powered charging hubs for off-grid flexibility. As test flights continue and FAA certification is targeted for 2026, the CX-300 is shaping up to be a real-world answer to the question, what's the next step in clean, regional aviation? Japan's Tetra Aviation is turning heads with a futuristic leap into personal air mobility, the Mark V, a one-seat EVTOL aircraft built to take solo flying to a whole new level. Forget runways and traffic jams, this electric vertical takeoff and landing machine is made for liftoff from almost anywhere. Equipped with 32 electric rotors, fixed wings, and a fully carbon fiber airframe, the Mark V brings together aviation-grade engineering with sci-fi vibes. With a target range of about 100 miles and top speeds nearing 100 miles per hour, it's built for short commutes and epic solo escapes. The cockpit? It's a stunner panoramic canopy, streamlined digital interface, and a fighter jet-inspired seat that makes every takeoff feel cinematic. Designed for simplicity, agility, and everyday use, the Mark V made a splash at Oshkosh with its bold design and quiet power. If Tetra delivers on its promise, this could be the first personal EVTOL to make flying solo part. Imagine boarding a plane in Tokyo and stepping off in Paris just two and a half hours later. No sonic booms, no sky-high prices, just quiet, zero emission speed. That's the promise of ZEHST, Japan's bold step into hypersonic aviation. This isn't a reboot of the Concorde, it's a clean sheet design for the next era of flight. Cruising at over Mach 4, ZEHST is set to move more than twice as fast as its supersonic predecessor, all while leaving behind zero carbon emissions. Powered by hydrogen-fed jet engines and rocket boosters, it's built for blistering speed without the environmental cost. Developed by Airbus, formerly EADS, with major Japanese backing in design and aerospace innovation, ZEHST represents more than just raw performance, it's about redefining what sustainable air travel can be. With the aviation world pushing toward greener solutions, this project is looking less like science fiction and more like a blueprint for the future. It's not ready for takeoff yet except the first passenger flight sometime in the 2030s, maybe closer to 2040 but when it arrives, it won't just change travel times. It'll change everything. Japan's not waiting for the future, it's building it. Meet the Mark II Aurora, a next-gen space plane that blurs the line between air travel and space exploration. Developed by Dawn Aerospace with strong backing from JAXA and ANA, this sleek vehicle isn't your typical rocket. It takes off from a standard runway, cruises like a jet, and soars to the edge of space all without the need for giant launch towers or throwaway boosters. Reusable, efficient, and built for high-frequency missions, the Aurora is designed to make space access as routine as a domestic flight. This isn't a distant dream, it's already breaking speed records and proving what's possible with a smarter approach to space tech. ANA is eyeing it for a range of uses, from launching satellites and carrying research payloads to possibly enabling ultra-fast cargo delivery between continents. The Mark II Aurora is green, nimble, and built to fly multiple times a day, something no traditional rocket can match. Japan's bold investment in this platform could position it as the hub of a new space economy. This isn't just progress, it's a liftoff for a whole new era.
Back in Paris and turning heads, Emperor C-390 Millennium is proving it's more than just a military transport, it's a multi-mission powerhouse. With the ability to haul up to 26 tons over 2,500 kilometers, this jet-powered workhorse delivers faster speeds and greater payload capacity than many of its turboprop counterparts. From troop movement and cargo delivery to aerial refueling and firefighting, the C-390 is built to adapt, making it a flexible solution for a variety of defense and humanitarian roles. At the airshow, Emperor gave visitors an up-close look inside the aircraft, highlighting its modern cockpit, advanced fly-by-wire controls, and streamlined cargo loading systems. Nations like Portugal and the Netherlands are already on board, and more NATO allies are eyeing the platform as a next-gen alternative to aging fleets like the C-130 Hercules. With a solid operational track record, simplified maintenance, and a pilot-friendly design, the C-390 Millennium is emerging as the smart choice for air forces that demand capability, agility, and cost efficiency. General Atomics has stepped boldly into the future of unmanned combat with the debut of its YFQ-42A, a sleek, jet-powered drone poised to lead the U.S. Air Force's Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCA, initiative. Engineered for stealth and survivability, the YFQ-42A features a clean V-tail, flush internal weapons bays, and radar-absorbing surfaces that suggest serious low-observable capabilities. Designed for contested airspace, its modular build allows rapid reconfiguration for ISR, electronic warfare, strike, or support missions. While the aircraft remained grounded at the show, its full-scale mock-up drew crowds with its aerodynamic precision and futuristic lines. Unlike other platforms pushing AI-first concepts, the YFQ-42A prioritizes endurance and stealth, with a rumored range of over 1,200 kilometers making it well-suited for high-risk, deep penetration missions. General Atomics hinted at further refinements in radar evasion before production begins, signaling that the YFQ-42A is not just another drone, but a quiet game-changer in the making.